Hi everyone and welcome to today's lesson of our writing program. Today is Friday and we will be doing lesson five of our writing program and today we're going to look at our sentence of the day. Now let's have a look at our learning intention and success criteria for today. Our learning intention says we are learning to read and write a simple sentence. And our success criteria says, I can read and write my sentence, and I can use finger spaces, a capital letter, and a full stop correctly. Now, this was the same as yesterday, except today we are focusing on a different sentence. Let's look at our sentence. Our sentence is, my dog is black and white. And we need to choose which one is right. Now remember, a sentence must include a capital letter at the start, finger spaces in between the words, and a full stop at the end. I would like you to look at the three options below and choose which one is correct. You can pause the video so that you have time to check all of the sentences. Once you have chosen the correct sentence, you can play the video again and we can go through which one is right. Okay, let's have a look at the first one. My dog is black and white. Now I'm going to read this sentence again and I would like you to count how many words are in the sentence. Let's go. My dog is black and white. There are six words in the sentence, which means that when we are looking for finger spaces, we are looking for five. Five is our magic number. I want you to put that in your head and then when we come back to it, you can count how many finger spaces there are. To start though, we are going to look for the capital letter. And we know that that needs to be at the start of the sentence. Now I can see that there is a capital M for my. My dog is black and white. So we do have our capital letter. The next thing we will look for are the finger spaces. Now I'm hoping that you remembered our magic number, which was five. We're going to count and hopefully there will be five finger spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. So we have our capital letter, our finger spaces, and then the last thing that we are looking for is the full stop. And we know that that should be at the end of our sentence. And I can see that it is here. So our first sentence is the correct one. Hopefully you chose that. Now we will quickly go through the other two. Now the second sentence is missing a capital letter, so it can't be that. And our third sentence is missing a full stop, so it's not that one either. Okay, here is our correct sentence. My dog is black and white. And we can see the capital letter, the finger spaces, and finally, the full stop at the end. Now it's your turn to complete the writing activity. You can do this on a piece of paper or you can do it in an exercise book. Now the first thing we're going to do is read my sentence. And we can do that one all together. My dog is black and white. Okay, the next thing that I want you to do is write your sentence in your neatest handwriting. Now, if you remember from yesterday, we spoke about writing on the lines and keeping all of our letters a consistent size, which means that we don't have any that are too big or too small and that when we are writing, we are able to also look back and read it. We can't have it too tiny that you can't see it and we don't want it too big that it goes off the page. 
Okay, once you have finished writing your sentence in your neatest handwriting, you can draw a black and white dog. And if you want some help with this, you could just go back in our video and look at the dog that was already there. And again, you can draw this picture next to your sentence or underneath. Um, the third thing that you can do is the challenge. And again, you just need to trace over your capital letter with your favorite color and over your full stop, which will be at the end of your sentence. So now that we have completed our activity, we are going to go back to our learning intention to make sure that we have done everything we needed to do in our lesson today. And our learning intention was, we are learning to read and write a simple sentence. Now looking at our success criteria, the first one was, I can read and write my sentence. So I'm going to tick off read my sentence because we did that at the beginning of our lesson and we also did it at the end when we were completing our writing activity. And then I'm going to tick off the write my sentence because we just did that um, when we wrote it with our neatest handwriting. And then looking at our second success criteria, which was I can use finger spaces, a capital letter and a full stop correctly. Now, we have put correctly there because we really need to make sure that we are using them right. Our capital letter must be at the start of our sentence. We shouldn't see capital letters in between our words or within words or at the end of our sentence. It needs to be at the start. Um, our finger spaces need to be in between our words. And if you remember, our magic number was five. So go back to the writing that you just completed and you can tick off all of the finger spaces in between your words. And of course, our final one was to use a full stop at the end of the sentence and making sure it's in the correct place and it's not over at the end, other end of the page or up higher or too low. So I'd like you to go back now and have a look. Okay, thanks so much for taking part in our lesson today and I hope that you enjoyed our writing activity and I will see you next time. Bye.